guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's vlog. Today we have all the midwife appointments, all of the injections, <laughs> all of the hospital appointments. So I thought I would pick up the camera and vlog. I am officially in my third trimester. I'm 28 weeks pregnant today and we are going to my 28 week midwife appointment I'm then also going to the hospital to get my anti-D injection, which is an injection that you have to have if you have the rhesus negative blood type and your baby has the rhesus positive blood type. Um, I've spoken about this a little bit. I had this in my last pregnancy, so I know exactly what to expect. I think first time round, I um, didn't really know what was going on as much um, and I was a little bit more worried, although I tried to play it off like I wasn't worried. Um, I kind of was a little bit. Um, but this time around, I've done it before. I'm just going to do the same thing again and yeah, I know it's going to be totally fine. So many, like thousands, millions of women have the Reese's, um, I think it's called like Reese's disease. I don't really know what it's called, if it's a disease or not, but it's basically when your blood type doesn't match your baby's blood type. Basically, in complete layman's terms, and you can definitely research it a little bit more, if you have a negative blood type, so for example, if you're O negative, um, and your baby has a positive blood type, like, I don't know, A positive, then your body, um, if your blood mixes with the baby's, then your body would produce antibodies to fight off the baby's blood. And essentially, like, your body's trying to like attack your baby, <laughs> which is obviously not good. So yeah, you get the anti-D injection, which basically stops these um, antibodies from producing in your body and to not harm your baby. And like I said, I had it with my first pregnancy um, and I had the blood test that showed what the baby's blood type was, um, as well as what my blood type was. Um, so yeah, basically they know that I am Reese's negative again and baby is Reese is positive, therefore I have to have this huge injection uh, today after my midwife appointment. So in my area, we've got um, like a local community midwife um, centre place that I go to and then the hospital for any like scans or blood tests or injections or anything like medical. I think it's like the obstetrics like ward on the hospital that I'm going to be delivering baby on. So I've got my midwife appointment in 20 minutes so I'm going to go there now and then um, after that I'm going to drive to the hospital have this huge injection so the anti-D injection is like big needle but you know what like needles are fine I used to be really scared of needles but I feel like when you're pregnant you just get prodded and poked like constantly getting blood tests all the time so I've kind of just got used to it look away don't think about it so the anti-D injection, last time it went in my leg and um, it was a big needle, but that just went in, didn't look, that was fine, just like any other blood test. Um, but it was like when the solution, so the anti-D is like in a solution, um, when that's kind of going in, it kind of feels a bit like a, like a bee sting or like, I can't really describe it, but maybe it'll be different this time, who knows, but I remember last time it kind of just felt like as it slowly went in, it was like stinging. Um, but it was fine after that, like in the grand scheme of things, you know what, I've done labour, I can do this, it's fine. Um, and as a treat after that, then me and my husband are going to go for a little Nando's or a little lunch date afterwards because, um, yeah, I'm not going to be in the best of moods after my injection. So I thought I'd just vlog today, take you guys along with me. I am going to go to my midwife appointment now. Um, I'll update you once I've finished and let you know how the appointment went. <clears throat> I can't actually remember what happens at the 28 week midwife appointment. I think they just ask you questions, maybe measure um, the bump and stuff. I can't actually remember to be honest, but I'll update you in the car when we're back. Um, but yeah, I've done my wee in my little pot, my little sample. Um, so I've got that ready to take with me. Um, I never find that not weird, just carrying around your own wee. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've got that. I think I'm all ready, I'm gonna take my notes. I don't know at this point, because I'm like now in my third trimester, I don't know whether at this point it's like when we start talking about birth plans and like anything like that. I just can't remember. And to be honest, I haven't thought about it massively. I would just like a calm and, you know, as smooth as possible birth. But obviously things don't always go like that way. And yeah, we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, I will catch up with you once I'm out of the midwife appointment before I go for my anti-D injection. <laughs> I really don't want to do it, but it's fine. I'm getting a Nando's afterwards. That's going to be my reward. But yeah, catch up with you in a bit. Bye. Give me love. Give me all your love. Oh, cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way. Okay, 
I'm just back out of my midwife appointment that was so quick and easy. Like I said, it's kind of like a community like centre kind of place, so you can't really do anything medical. So it was literally just a chat. Um, really with my midwife she measured my bump um, and baby is measuring on like the 53rd centile which is perfect lovely George was a lot smaller my, in my first pregnancy I was um, measuring on the 9th centile like the whole way through my pregnancy so I think I went for like extra growth scans because he was smaller and then yes yeah, so, but now I'm like in the 50th centile I definitely feel bigger than I did last time but I was like smaller than usual I guess last time around so um that kind of all makes sense um so she, yeah she measured my bump she checked my urine that was all fine um and she asked me a few questions um just like the standard like how are baby's movements like do you smoke all the questions that she's already asked me loads of times before but she has to ask them all again like are you a smoker do you do this like you know um took my blood pressure and stuff like that and then we just had a little bit of a chat um but yeah that was pretty much it she reminded me that before i get my anti-d injection i have to get my 28 week bloods done um and i can't do it i can't get my bloods done after my anti-d injection because they'll see anti-d in my um results and then i'll have to go for regular checkups every two weeks and i really don't want to do that because if they find anti-d in my bloods they'll worry whereas if i get my 28 week bloods done before and then get my anti-d injection that's the right way around of doing it um so yeah that is what i'm gonna do i like i said have to go to the hospital for that so i'm gonna head there now i'm gonna go home and get ash um who is off work today which is amazing he didn't come to this appointment because it's still honestly like yeah not not like worth it it's not really like a big appointment just a little chat with my midwife but he's going to come to the hospital with me and then after we're done at the hospital um we're going to go for like a nando's or something in um town just because it's like a bigger town so there's like actual choice for food um which i'm excited about it's a very rare day off um that we have together so yes it's filled with loads of appointments but um yeah we're going to go into town and do just some mooching about and some food and yeah fun times before we um go and collect george from nursery so yeah i'll catch up with you guys once i've had my bloods done once i've had my anti-d injection yeah wish me luck for hospital catch up with you soon hold my hand could you hold my hand look me in the eyes you and me yeah that's all i need Hello, now back from my midwife appointment and hospital appointments. Um, all went totally fine. Then we went to Nando's, um, which you would have seen, and I also went to H&M. So I bought some oversized t-shirts, um, or like graphic kind of tees to go with like leggings and things for when I am pregnant and then also postpartum. I feel like that's just like the nicest kind of oversized t-shirt leggings vibe with like, you know, some trainers or something it's just like a really nice easy outfit um so i am going to try those on now and then i'm also then going to be packing for a trip away we're going on like a little staycation with family and i haven't packed and we're going tomorrow george is all packed i've packed george's bag which is just down here but i haven't packed anything for myself um and i've got to pick george up from nursery in an hour so i am going to crack on get packed get packing for me try the clothes on maybe just try a few outfits on to be honest i might just do like a little montage of like outfit ideas for the week that i'm away slash like when you know we're kind of going into like spring ish but like not really it's like raining but warm like that's kind of the vibe at the moment so that's yeah that's what i'm kind of dressing for but yeah in terms of the um 28 week sort of appointment had my bloods um which was fine you know just standard to like things of blood um and then also the anti-d injection which they didn't do in my leg this time they did it in my arm and it actually was in nowhere near as bad as i remembered i had like kind of hyped myself up for it a little bit where i was like oh you know it was quite hard hard injection last time and like it really hurt and it stung you know what it was actually fine i was talking to the other midwife like the um i think she was a student midwife as i was getting it done I'm um, talking to her about baby names and things like that and then um it, by the time I'd literally finished my sentence it was over and then I left well I went I had to wait for like 20 minutes to see if I had a reaction which I didn't um so yeah I'm gonna get changed 
sort out my clothes for the week, um, show you the things that I bought from H&M and yeah, catch up with you guys after. Right, that is us. Completely packed for our little staycation. Um, Ashley's just doing bedtime and bath time with George and I thought I would do a little outro to this video. So we're heading to Wales for a week with a load of family and that is mine and George's stuff packed there. Ashley's stuff is already downstairs and yeah, we're gonna have loads of fun, I'm really excited. I think we're planning on doing like swimming with the kids and going up Mount Snowdon and you know, going on lots of like muddy walks and fun things like that with the kids. They're gonna absolutely love it. They love spending time together. George absolutely loves all of his cousins. So it's just gonna be a blast. And we're staying in the massi a massive house. So I'll actually try and link below, like if I enjoy it, by the time this vlog goes up, I'll actually be back from holiday. So I can actually, um, if I liked it, then I'll link it down below um but yeah i think i am gonna leave the vlog there everything's packed i think um yeah i've got my comfy pregnancy outfits are very casual as you would have seen a lot of them are basically going to be styled exactly the same way leggings oversized top or like a cardigan or an, uh, like a shirt oversized shirt or something with converse like high top converse which i bought today um from shoe i'll link them down below because they're so good i've got like the platform ones i feel like they look a little bit nicer than just the normal um converse i also am going to take some chunky trainers and i'm also going to take obviously like walking boots and wellies as well so i've got a good little variety like the converse are like the kind of cleaner shoes i could go around town or like go out for like dinner or lunch or something and then the trainers are just for, like casual like every day and then i've got like walking boots when we go and do like proper outdoorsy stuff um i'm just like trying to make sure i've got like enough for like any kind of activity but yeah i'm definitely not taking any like fancy shoes or anything like that i am past those days big time i think i was even before pregnancy to be fair but certainly pregnant with a toddler absolutely no fancy shoes especially not in north wales um but yeah i think that is us that's me sorted so that's my 28 week midwife appointments all my bloods all of that done i'm now going on a staycation and next time i see you i will probably be like 30 weeks because i'm going to take a couple of weeks off this is filmed like in advance and then i think when will I see you next? Maybe I'll be 29 weeks. I don't know. But I'm taking a little bit of time off. I'm not going to vlog this week. I'm going to spend time with family and stuff and enjoy our time. But for now, I am going to love you, leave you. Let me know what you want to see down in the comment section from me next. Um, and I'll make sure to do those vlogs. Pregnancy related, home related, because the um, actually when we get back from Wales, Ashley's going to be starting on the renovations, um, like properly. I know we've smashed down walls and stuff, but like the kitchen is actually going in next week um so again by the time you see this i might have have some updates so let me know if you want to see that um but yeah i think that's it guys i'm gonna go i'm gonna go give george a little kiss good night tidy up a little bit sort the washing out boring stuff um but yeah pop all of that stuff in the car charge the ipad and then i think we're gonna be ready I hope you're all having slash have had, I can't remember when this is going to go up, but a lovely Easter when it comes. But for now, I'm going to love you and leave you and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.
all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby.